here today harvesting some parts for the Toyota build. I need the spindles and the brakes and the calipers and all of those parts. So we're collecting. There's the goods. That was the right one. Nice. Whatever size that is, yeah, that's the one. Whatever size that mile marker sends you, that is the size that you have to use. Looks like I may buy some new rotors. What? Those look perfect. They, probably, <laughs> they would probably work, but I think I'm going to break down and buy some of those since they're 25 bucks. <laughs> I think I'll do it. I guess uh, we give it the onion, and if it doesn't work, we'll beat it off with a hammer. <laughs> it's, uh, I got some new hubs. Oh, that's true. I don't have to have these, so, and I didn't bring a drill, and I don't want to drive all the way home to get a drill bit to drill that out. So we're putting all this stuff on that Ford axle, so I got to change the spindles. Pretty nice one. Dana 44 is all the same, pretty much from one make to another. All right, there's a nice little snap ring hiding right here. Once I find the end of it. Come on, Kershaw, don't let us down. That's right. Uh-oh. It's all right. <laughs> it let us down. <laughs> it definitely let us down. You have to go in for a grinder appointment. Never had one this sticky to get out. This is supposed to be like 29 seconds. Two hours later. No, I had it. That was a yeah. That was a hard fought battle. Two seconds later, it literally just pops out. Yeah, that's a stupid thing. So if you don't have one of these sockets, you can just use a chisel. It's just easier with a socket. And then you got to pull out this little uh, lock nut retainer. And then the other nut. Okay. And then you take and you cut your brake line because you're not using it. Will you use this caliper? Yeah, I'll probably use the caliper. I don't know, they're pretty cheap to buy loaded caliper with brakes, so. Gotcha. I may just buy new ones, depending on. Cause you gotta run custom lines anyways, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Depending on the amount of money I have at that point in time, we'll take them. They'll want a core on them anyways. We'll take that, that's my brake holder. You hit it where there's not a bearing race. Still all that stuff. Push that back in and put the tire under it. Move to the other side. Oh, of a mud dauber nest or something. Good thing about working on stuff. In the winter, yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> Don't get stung by bees. Jump. Get this put in. The park store finally got the seal that I needed. Looks like that's the one. This yoke's pretty special. It goes to a Dana 44 and converts it to a Toyota driveline. So my driveline's all pulled up. Which is technically pretty handy. Well, 
work. Looks like we did something right. All right, well, we got some parts today. We're gonna try to get this junker assembled and ready to go. Got to get the spindles put on, ball joints on that side, my new brakes, and clean all these welds up, weld the axle tubes in, and build a truss over the top. We'll see how that works out today. That we're going to change all this stuff. It's pretty rusty and nasty, and it's pretty cheap, so why not? Tap those out of there. There's the hubs. So, I've got, I think I'm gonna have to take and chuck this up in a lathe, machine this down, and put some sort of a ring on there for my ABS sensor. So I can make that so my light goes off of my dash. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it, but something like that. Find all the bolts and pieces I need. Probably should clean all these up with a sandblaster or something, but it's just going on the Toyota and it's going to be muddy and in the dirt and stuff all the time, so I'm not super worried about it. The brakes are in the right spot, so we should be golden. Put these in and tighten them up. So we'll have a little bit of everything in this front end when we're done. We got some Dodge knuckles on it because they were flat top knuckles so I could drill and tap this thing on. It's a Ford front end out of a Ford Bronco and I'm putting Chevy spindles on it. So, because I need the six lug pattern. So we're gonna have a little bit of everything but it should all work together. I don't have the right axles for this. I'm gonna have to run the stock ones for a while. They're not very beefy. They're gonna break. They have small U-joints, but we'll deal with them for now. <laughs> we'll fix that problem. a little bit when it fell. My luck. Fix the problem that I caused. Alright. Alright, track the bearing down. Just hack it real quick. Pack this bearing. Shove it in. It's a little cold. We got it coming out of where it needs to here. We can assemble this sucker. Gotta make sure that that little pit right there is sticking out like your lock ring. Super tight, just snug. And then we gotta line the lock. Alright, there's the lock ring. This one is too tight. Alright, now we're ready for a hub and brakes. This thing will be race ready. Got a new set of mile marker hubs. I'm not a big fan of grease on hubs. We're gonna put some white lithium on them. It's going to come apart again in not that long because we have to put axes in it. Then, 
Maybe, maybe somewhere. Okay. This is my uh, plasma table right here. Like that. Trim a little. My knife's getting dull. I've been cutting cardboard with it all day. Paul's kind of hardcore. It's Christmas Day and he's out here working at the shop. Let's be honest, it's snowing outside, so I can't do much there. <laughs> Our house pretty much looks like a bomb went off after Christmas. <laughs> so, this is my happy place. I love it. Now I just gotta go over to the plasma table. Cut them out. Oh, that sucks pretty bad right there. What? Not quite big enough, but it's gonna have to do. Yeah, it's gonna have to work though. Knocks the slag off of it. Then I'll grind them up. Close. Cut just a hair more out of right there. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. It's got a few big gaps, but I'll tighten them up. I'll start pounding it down as I weld it. It'll hold a three link brace. I got one more weld to do and I, I'm done for today. It's built. Could weld that up. I think I may actually cut that a hole right there too. So if the dirt gets down in here, it can come out somehow or another. It's probably smart. But I gotta have that hole for my breather. And I don't know exactly where my top link's gonna hook into this. I hope it hooks in right here. Front end is done. We're ready to throw this thing underneath the truck, build some link bars, and see if we can't make it set on all four.